Hey, hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to Chronicles of a Crafter. So I was just playing in my stash and looking through some of the things that I have currently in my um, craft room and decided that I wanted to um, alter some um, index cards. And I found this big box of index cards, but um, these are just some that I've collected along the way. They're from the Dollar Tree, some colored ones. They're rainbow colored and then I have these plain white ones and I was telling you before index cards have changed over the years they're no longer like really thick index cards they're just very flimsy and there's nothing really to do but to alter them so I've altered a lot of these already and I have some in my stash but looking at um, just this box I decided well what if I made something that housed my index cards either prior to decorating them or after decorating them so I found this other box that I have <laughs> in my stash and this is definitely for index cards and I decided to make some little tiny index card folders now I've made tons of things with folders file folders on this channel before but I've never actually made mini file folders I don't think I have you can go back and uh, check in this upper right corner see if there's a video there for any index card file folders that I've made in the past um, so yeah I just wanted to make some index card file folders and decided uh, I'll just show you what I know how to do so here we go. Um, I'm going to take some regular old cardstock. Let me just show you what they look like when they're done. It's not really done, but you know, these are my prototypes, my measurements that I'm going by to, um, to get these today. And here I'll just show you some of the ones that I've already made. And this is not even the finished product. So I just went ahead and faux collage some of these. This one has a little map on one side and a little envelope on the other that's been collaged. So yeah, and this is just some um, old newspaper, I guess. This is from, it's so tiny I can't even find the year. It looks like 1946, but yeah. Anyway, just some decorated faux file folders or small mini file folders or what have you. All right, so I'm gonna break out my one sheet of eight and a half by 11. This is a cream color paper. It's 160 GSM uh, medium weight cardstock, okay? So we're going to cut this up and make a mini file folder that can house um, index cards that are three and a half by five, I believe. That's the size of the standard index cards. Uh, they're three by five. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, to begin with, you're going to take your eight and a half by eleven page, and you're going to cut it along this line here. So, if you're holding it in your cutter this way, you'll cut a one and a half strip off of the eleven side. Okay, so let me just go ahead and do that. And two ticks. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've removed an inch and a half from my eight and a half by 11 sheet. So this right here, we're going to save this to use it later. And I'll show you what we're gonna use it for in just a moment. We're gonna take the remaining piece of cardstock and we're going to make some score marks on it in order to cut it up into the file folder. So I'm gonna bring in my big scoreboard here. This is uh, my 12 by 12 scoreboard. And I am going to use my scoring tool to score this down. Let's see. I'm gonna cut. Um, I'm gonna cut this paper down to six and three quarters. So I'm just gonna score right here at six and three quarters. And I'm gonna use my mini guillotine to cut that off. And we'll just flip it over here. Okay, six and three quarters is this measurement by eight. And now we're going to rotate it this way. And we're going to score it at five and one eighth. Five and an eighth right there. And again, I'm going to use my little mini guillotine to cut that strip off as well. Okay, 
so except for the one and a half inch strip that we are going to use later this is all that we have left um, from that eight and a half by eleven page and you can still do some stuff with this as well we're going to probably cut this up and make some little mini tags like so um, to go into this project or into any other project all right um, we can always use tags so all right now I'm going to rotate my page back again on where the six and three quarters are here on the far right side and I'm going to score at uh, three and three and a quarter so I'm just giving myself a little quarter of an inch spine right here like so and now we have something that's starting to look a little bit like a file folder I'm gonna bring in my uh, what is this my tab punch board this is from we are memory keepers and um, if you guys don't have this punch board it's okay there are various other little tools that you can use to make tabs this is the one that I have I'll just show you what other tool I can use to make a tab um, but you won't be making it on here you'd have to make it on a separate sheet of paper and punch out a little tab that looks like that all right so there's an option if you don't have a we are memory keepers punch board so Let's just go ahead and I'm going to punch a medium sized tab on here. Okay, so that's going to be my new tab. I'm going to flip my page over to this side and cut off the excess. So it's about a maybe a three quarters of an inch or half an inch that I'm going to remove. But We Are Memory Keepers removes it for you. All right, so now we have what looks like this. And I'm just going to use my regular old We Are Memory Keepers uh, corner rounder on the seven millimeter side and just round all my corners including my tab all right so I could have went in here and flipped the page over and made the other corner of the tab but I didn't feel like doing that so I'm just gonna do this so that all the corners have the same angle it's about to pour rain over here like I can hear the sky opening up it's like lightning and thunder crazy weather welcome to Florida summer all right so now we've made our little file folder like this okay and yes I know it's like a little bit uneven it's one side is higher than the other it doesn't really matter we're gonna decorate this up right now um, I am going to use my faux map single-sided um, sheet of scrapbooking paper and I'm just gonna place this on here so that my map is facing right side up on the front tab so I just open up the back side of the tab and I'm just gonna place this down right in here glue it down and that's gonna be my decorated file folder all right let me move a couple of things out of the way And you can decorate these file folders with just about anything, okay? You don't have to use um, scrapbook paper. You can use any old newspaper that you may have. You can collage on here. You can do just about anything. Like, it really is your personal preference. I'm just making these because, um, yeah, I have a whole bunch of um, index cards that I want to either decorate or I found it already decorated in my stash and I need to do something with them so yeah I'm just gonna pop this on right here just making sure that it's straight it doesn't even have to be um, any particular you know I just want to make sure that it's straight that's all I don't really care what the map says or has on it I'm just making sure that my my uh, pattern is straight all right, and let me grab my, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. That must be loud. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to grab my guillotine once more and cut away the excess of that map. Don't want to cut the file folder, so I'm just going in as close as I can without cutting the file folder. Nice. All right, let me do the other side. so there's that 
and um, any excess I will use my scissors to get as closer closer to the edge as possible okay and then I will use my corner rounder again to round the corners of the map so medium which is the seven millimeter okay and I will rescore or burnish my score marks on here okay so now we have what looks like a little file folder of a map all right so um what i want to do next is ink everything so i'm just going to go around here with my new favorite color ground espresso and i'm just going to ink all the way around this entire file folder including the little tab and the entire section including the little edges of the spine all right so all right so that's that and then now we can really decorate it so what i was thinking about doing on the front here i want to get a stamp um Sorry guys, I got two stamps that I want to use. One of them says inspiration. I've used these two before. One says travel. I think travel will probably look really cute on here. Um, seeing that it's a map and it's <laughs> it's traveling. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to use a ground espresso again. And just ink up the stamp. And I'm just going to stamp right on the tab itself. Wait. Okay. So, um, let's see. I want to decorate this particular folder in. Let's do some red. Okay. So I am just going to. I think these are. I think these are stickers. Let's see. Let me grab my pokey tool. I'm sorry, my desk is a mess, guys. Like I've. I've been so busy lately that I have not even had a chance to clean up any of this. So this is my mess that you're going to have to look at for a little bit. I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. It is a sticker. At least I hope I'm not separating paper right now. Yeah, I think it's a sticker. Ah, come on, guy. Work with me. Here we go. All right. So this is just a... Oh, this is... A nice sticker it looks like a an old Pan Am Panama what is that Pan American World Air something I don't know doesn't matter it's <laughs> it's just gonna go like I think I'm gonna put it over here it really doesn't matter but I'm just trying to get some of these red accents and I'm going to place another one of these stickers on either the opposite side or let's just see somewhere like that yeah this looks like a concert ticket it says Miami Stadium and has to be old because Miami doesn't have a stadium anymore I mean they have a stadium but it's not called Miami Stadium anymore so I'm just going to place that one right about here. Okay. And I got a couple more that I want to use. These, This is definitely a sticker. And this one is also a sticker. Okay, great. So while I'm letting my background dry, it should be dry soon, but I mean, just going to let this sit aside to dry for a moment while we decorate our belly band slash closure so remember the one and a half inch strip that I had you 
cut off earlier in the process. We're gonna use that right now to make our closure slash belly band. I'm just gonna use my three-in-one tab punch to make this and what I do is to punch them evenly and at the same time and because this paper is you know 160 GSM it's not very thick two two ends of this paper can go into here at the same time to cut an even tab okay so I just want both tabs to be even one and a half inches the smallest tab that they that this punch makes and just like that we now have our closure okay so to decorate this you can pretty much do anything you like all right I'm gonna try to stay within the theme of the maps and um, find another another map or yeah let me go oh here it is I was going to leave you guys but here is my washi map so I'm just going to roll this out. And I probably should have done this first. Decorate first, guys. Okay, because now I have a dilemma of how am I going to re-punch this exactly the same that it was before. My problem not yours but I'm going to I'm gonna fussy around here and fussy around here and then I'm just gonna fold my my tab in And then I'll just cut away the bulk. And wrap around the back side of, of the belly band. And again, I'm just fussy cutting around the um, the punch that we made earlier but again decorate first I'm sorry I did not instill that part of the instructions on my paper on my instructions I should have wrote that on there decorate your belly band first all right so but this is gonna work out just the same it'll be fine Was I even in shot just now? Like, <laughs> I had this so close to my face, I didn't even realize if you guys were on in shot. But I think I think it's fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna remove any excess that's not stuck to the paper by cutting away the corners. Okay. All right. So now we have our little decorated belly band. I'm gonna use my a uh, hole punch, just my little cheapy hole punch. I broke away the back side so I can see where I'm punching. So that's just gonna go right through there. Remove that washi out of that circle. And do the same thing on the other side. Okay. So let me just clean up around my edges here. Okay, and again, don't forget, decorate <laughs> your decorate your belly band closure first. All right. So now let's just make sure that my map is right side up. Okay. Uh, I don't think it matters. It's also inverted. Like part of this map, <laughs> part of this map is inside out. So Australia is written backwards. Canada is written backwards. Like, who made this? <laughs> anyway, um, let's just go ahead and score this so we can 
get it onto our file folder. I'm going to score this one and a half inch strip at two locations on one side and then two locations on the other. We're going to um, butt our corner up that we just punched with the uh, tab punch against the uh, the left hand side of the scoreboard and we're going to score it at let me just get my big scoreboard so I don't confuse you and this is how my desk becomes a mess like this is just an everyday event my little score too okay so we're gonna score it at two and a half okay this is our first score mark on the left two and a half and then two and three quarters all right and then you're gonna come all the way down here and you're gonna score at eight and you're gonna score at eight and a quarter all right so now we should have a quarter of an inch fold marks on both sides of this little strip and this is going to be our closure. I'm going to bring back in my file folder and I'm going to place it in between here just so I can show you really quickly what our closure is going to look like. Something like so. And I like these little things peeking out at the top. Once you open this up you'll be able to see all of those all the little um, stickers and tickets and whatnot that we've stuck down there. I move my file, my uh, score buddy out of the way for now. But this is basically what we're going to have when we're done. I'm going to use my art glitter glue. Where is it? Oh, here it is. My art glitter to. I'm going to place a bead of glue on the two and three quarter inch um, score mark and on the eight. So right after the two and three quarter inch score mark so that it's not touching the score mark. I'm gonna place just a little tiny bead of glue right there. Do not touch that score line, okay guys? And I'm gonna do the same thing over by the eight without touching it. And then I'm going to take my file folder and I'm going to place it down right on that glue about halfway on each side. All right, so halfway from the top to the bottom here and over here. And whatever is left over, as usual, I use my little dry baby wipes to clean up the excess. And I used our glitter because it dries really quickly. It gives you the quickest results. So now we have what looks like this. Folds over like this. I'm going to use some baker's twine. I can find it. What do I do with it? Oh, there it is. I'm just going to use some of this red baker's twine and I'm going to put it in between here. Oh, forgot one more thing. I'm going to put some reinforcements on here. These are just some little tab reinforcements that I punched out with some book page as its background or foreground and I'm just going to glue these directly onto here just for contrast guys not necessary if you don't have it don't worry about it you should be fine without it and do the same thing on the other side but having reinforcements on here is probably probably a smart thing to do considering you're stringing through thread and you don't want these holes to rip so, and it would probably be helpful if my paper on the outside was glued down really well. So I'm just going to do that. Okay. And now I'm going to glue down my tab. Okay. Okay. 
I'm just making sure my writing is right side up in case. I mean, who's going to read it, right? I mean, it's not even a full sentence. <laughs> I just want to make sure that my writing is right side Okay, and now I'm going to use my baker's twine, and I hope it's long enough to thread through here. And I'm going to pull it all the way through to this side. Close my flaps. Tie this in a bow. And then we can stuff it with a bunch of stuff, right? So... I'm just going to tie this in a bow for now. You can put beads on the end of these or whatever to decorate your baker's twine or your, your closure strings, whatever you use. But um, yeah, I'm just going to tie this off right here for now. And I could loop it through a couple times because I think that would also be cute. But I just want to show you all of the space that we now have in this little file folder to um, house our index card. So, of course, there's a quarter inch spine at the bottom. So, you know, you can fit at least this is about 15 or so, maybe maybe 20 index cards you know you can fit about that many in there isn't that cute though i mean hey and then on the back we have a little um belly band so i'm going to use something really big so you can see how much space you have back here on the belly band side so we have all of this space back here for various things so i just stuck three tags in there all right and yeah so for the last step, I'm just going to decorate the outside of this, um, the closure, just with some stickers, nothing fancy. Uh, you can ink these stickers if you want before sticking them on for contrast. That's up to you. I'm just going to pop this 44 right here because I like how that looks. All right, so guys, I hope you give this a try. All right, this is just something that you can do for your index cards, for your ephemera. If you were to make, let's say, a bunch of tags, you can now pop them inside of here and then stick them into your index card box like so. And by this being glued down, the closure will never go away. Like it will never slide off or, you know, it's a cute little thingy. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's do it, guys. This is so stinking cute. Let's do it. Let's make it. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want you guys to stay naturally curious. Have a crafty day, guys. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.